Memorial Day weekend is here, and if you're headed somewhere where the sun is going to be shining, there's some things you'll want to remember to make sure that you have fun in the sun, but stay safe too. Dr. Joy Green joins us now. She's the Assistant Dean and Professor at High Point University's Fred Wilson School of Pharmacy. Right. Good morning. Good morning, Cindy. How you doing? I'm great. You know, we are hoping for some sun this Memorial Day weekend. Right. Hoping, but you know, the information that you have for us today will last us all summer long though when Absolutely. the sun does come out. Absolutely, because one in five Americans will get skin cancer in their life. It's um, amazing. That, that is such a high number. That's right. And the best way that we can protect our skin is by using sunscreen mm -hmm. and also being careful when we're outside. Thinking about are we in the shade? Can we right. be in the shade? What type of a hat can we wear? How can we protect our skin? Because it's interesting that our skin is the largest organ of our body. Absolutely. Absolutely. So when we're preparing for, for fun in the sun, obviously, you know, shade's cooler. Absolutely. And so if there's yep. shade around, you can, can try to find it, right? Yes, absolutely. But we also want to be thinking about what we're going to wear on our bodies. Right. So I brought this beautiful hat, which actually yes, matches I, I think you this perfectly. Hat is perfect for me today. What do you think? Absolutely. <laughs> you want to think about a wide brimmed hat that you can wear that's going to shade your face. And we care and about shoulders. aging and our shoulders and our neck area. Mm -hmm. So always think about wearing a hat, even just a ball cap, like the yeah, HP like ball, ball cap that, cap, I, that I brought. That's going to help shade your face as mm -hmm. well. Think about that. Think about protective clothing. You can buy clothing that's going to protect your skin more from the sun as well. Long sleeves, especially mm -hmm. for the kiddos when they're out in the ocean and they're in the pool. Yep. You can get those long sleeves yep. swimwear. They, have, they call them rash, rash gears. That's and right. You can wear the rash shirts, which is great. That's right. And you want to take an umbrella with you if you're going to be on the beach, in the sand. Smart. Even pay to rent the umbrella if you have to. That's good. That's right. You don't want to burn your skin. No, definitely. What about sunglasses? Absolutely. You want to think about protecting your eyes. And you also want to think about your lips, which is something that we often don't we remember. forget about that. And we your forget. feet. And your Especially feet. Especially in the, the, the early in the season, your feet get sunburned too. That's right. Feet and lips and the tips of your ears. Yes. And if you have a part in your hair on your scalp. I think about that. Yep. I saw this product this week. I had not seen this before, but this is scalp spray. <gasps> so for the man in your life who may be balding, this is an easy way to I put sunscreen that. right on the scalp area. That's smart. I thought that was a very neat product to show. I love that. And then we have all of our SPFs. So if you go to look at the sunscreen section, mm -hmm. you may get slightly confused. Oh, so I thought we would talk a little bit about yep, what, what you're looking for. So SPF 15, 30, 50, which one's the best? For me, I say 30 is the best. That's going to protect you um, the most out in the sun. You're going to get 97% screening from the sun's UVA, UVB rays. Right. You also want to look for something that is waterproof, mm -hmm. so maybe like a sport type of product. Right. And you want to make sure you're applying it 15 to 30 minutes before you go outside. Right. And then if you're in the water or if you're going to be sweating, you want to reapply it every two hours. Frequently, yes. Yes. And you also want to use an ounce of product for your body. That's about 10 pumps of this. Okay. 10. Most of us are not using enough. Enough. Yes, and I love the sprays, especially when you have kids. Yeah. Because it's just so easy and convenient. But you've got to rub it in. You've got to rub it in, and you've got to make sure that you're getting enough. Yeah. Because you see it spraying, you think you're covered, but you may not be covered. Yeah. You I also brought, go. okay. Oh, oh, so we're no, out of time, okay. but we got to go. The other thing she says is whatever you do, indoor tanning, stay away from stay it. Stay away from indoor tanning. That's a problem. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Great information. Thank you, Cindy. I like that.